these are the four Silver Age Mega Key books that I'm going to be sending in to get graded. If you want to know what my predictions are and what the comics are, just stick around and you shall find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, everybody. This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch one of my videos. And if you're not familiar with this, there is a deal that I made with PGX that I tried to make with the other companies, but they never ever responded. So PGX was the only one willing to do this. And that was me messaging all three major companies and saying, um, if I did an advertisement for your you know, company, would I be able to get a couple of comics graded? And the only one that responded and was have been doing it now for almost two years is PGX. So I am allowed to send in four comics each month to get graded. And um, I do the little commercial that you see right before this starts. Now, I want to make sure this not only benefited me, I want to make sure it benefited my subscribers. So if you look in the description of this in any video... If you send in 10 or more comics to PGX and use the code We Love Comics Free Press, you can get one of the comics pressed for free. So take advantage of that if you are going to use this company. Now, obviously, you don't have to, but for those who do, it's there for you if you want it. Also, don't forget before I start showing the books that I am still selling my comics, my mystery boxes. The link is in the description, and I'll also tag it to the first comment once this uploads. And even if you could share the link, it really helps. So thank you for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the four books before I mail them. I'll give you my general idea of what I think the um, grades might come out to be. Uh, obviously, I get these, and I highly recommend anybody that gets their books graded, no matter what company you use, get them pressed and dry cleaned because it will dramatically increase the grades. So sometimes it is kind of hard to predict them, but I usually get pretty spot on where I'm only off by maybe a grade at most. So I'll tell you the prices I paid for them, you know, any significance of the book, and um, we'll see what happens in about a month, month and a half when I get them back because I don't learn the grades until you guys watch the video with me, and I always do that live so you can see there's no doctoring of videos or anything like that. So let's get the party started. These are all Silver Age really good keys. So these are books I cannot wait to find out what they are. So this one, the first one, is Fantastic Four, issue number six. This is actually my second copy. I got one graded a couple of months ago. Um, they're both lower grade books, but like I always say, low grade is better than no grade because you can't afford a high grade, then it's not going to be my grade. So, you know, you go with what you can afford. And hey, if you can afford a 9.0, that's great. But this, the significance of this book is it's the second Silver Age appearance of Silver, Silver Surfer, of Submariner, and the second ever appearance of Doctor Doom, and the first villain team-up ever in the history of Marvel. So there is some significance in this book. So if you ever get the chance to get this book, even in low grade, especially with the rumors that, you know, Black Panther 2, they're saying that Submariner could be in the movie. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. Anything can change. And we know that Doctor Doom is just a matter of time before he ends up in the MCU. And for those of you who cannot afford issue number five, and it's pretty expensive even in low grade, this might be the next best thing. Now, this book has definitely risen as well, but if, hey, if you can get your hands on it, please do. Um, this particular book I paid $120.49 $120 for. That always includes shipping and handling. I won it about a year, year and a half ago, so it wasn't that long ago. Uh, this book probably going to be two to 300 at this point, but and always ask for deals, wait for deals. You never know what pops up, so never give up on something that you want. Um, I'm going to predict roughly about a 3.0. Uh, it does have tape along the spine, but that is not considered restoration or anything. Uh, that doesn't bother me with older books. Uh, there is, as you can see, a piece missing here. That's why the grade is going to be a lot lower than what it could have been. I mean, as you can see, the cover presents well. Inside of the book looks pretty decent overall. Um, I'm going to grade it, like I said, um, well, I don't know if I said yet, uh, 3.0 to about a 4.0 with off-white pages. So that's book number one. Uh, this is one I have several copies of. Um, this is one, again, I keep finding deals all the time. 
I only got this a couple of months ago, and this is maybe my fourth or fifth copy. And as a matter of fact, I'm selling my 7.0. I'm surprised no one's purchased it yet. It is on the website if you're interested. But this is Tales of Suspense number 52, which is the first appearance of Black Widow, who is going to be getting her own movie soon. Um, again, I paid a good price for this considering. I paid two forty nine zero seven, including shipping and handling. Um, this one has some little moderate um, color breaks and a couple of chipping on the edge here. Uh, there is a crease right here that breaks color, but that's not major huge problems. A couple of color breaks along the spine. Again, the staples are intact and everything. And um, I paid a total of... 249.09 for this book. I'm going to predict about a 3.0 to a 3.5. And did I write? Okay. I thought it, this had tape on it, but no. Um, so about 3.0 to a 3.5 off white pages. So definitely that's a book to get. Uh, this one, I was lucky enough. At one point, this took me years. This is one of the books of mine that got stolen. And when I say I missed opportunity after opportunity to get this book because it ended up that it was such a high demand book that I just couldn't get it because it was just too expensive. Um, after I got the first one, I got like three or four more. So it shows that, you know, things will work in your favor. You just have to be patient sometimes. It took me about two or three years of trial and error of getting this book before I got the first one. So you do have to have patience, but your patience will pay out if you're persistent. So this is another copy of my Amazing Spider-Man 14. Uh, this is a book I definitely recommend to get if you can, because with the whole Sony and Marvel debacle that's going on, Sony Disney debacle right now, um, unless there's an agreement, there might be a little while before they use Greed and Goblin again, which means you know how most people base things on emotion and base it on the flavor of the month or that flavor of the moment. This might cool off a little bit, but it's not going to cool off to the point where it's a $100 book. I mean, you're talking Amazing Spider-Man 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin. That's key whether there's a movie or not. Movies just help get the demand up, which increases the price, usually temporarily, and then it steadily rises or it plateaus. Uh, but this is definitely a book to get if you can get it. And again, it took me a long time to get him again. I had like a 9.0 when I was younger and probably spent under about $80 for it. Um, I paid for this one $518.49. Um, it looks pretty good. As you could see, somebody wrote Boags. I guess that's somebody's last name because if that's their first name, you know, that's child abuse from their from their parents to name a kid Boag. But you never know. It could be a nickname. It could be just something somebody spelled. Who knows? But it's there. It's in grease pencil. So that dry cleaning is not helping that. Um, there is a little piece missing right here. But that's not a major amount. So that's not going to lower the grade too much. There is some chipping on the top. There's the usual typical, you know, minor little color breaks along the spine. But as you can see, the cover presents well. Um, again, I make sure I look throughout the book. There's a little tiny chip off the corner here. So again, I'm going to grade this appropriate for those kind of problems. Um, I paid $518.49. I'm going to predict roughly about a, a 3.0 to a 3.5 with off-white pages. Um, definitely going to get these books um, pressed and dry cleaned. All right, last but not least, this was a book I've been trying to get for so long, I missed out on opportunity after opportunity. Uh, this is my only copy of this book, but I got it before there's any announcements and that's when you want to get stuff not when there's an announcement not after an announcement you want to try and get it before because that's going to be probably the cheapest price you're going to get unless you can find or make deals so this book i cannot wait to see what gets graded it's it's a lower grade but i don't care um this is fantastic four number four i have almost every single issue from one through ten i am currently missing eight nine and ten and that's it this was the last of the really significant one. I'm sorry, I do have eight. So it's, it's seven, nine, and ten. Those are the books I don't have. And of the, the first ten issues, those are the least significant. There's not anything really major in issues seven, nine, and ten. So I have issues one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. And this one took the longest to get. So this is the first Silver Age appearance of Submariner. Um, there's been, you know, this has been a pricey book even before any speculation. Because, like, for example... With uh, Moon Knight, people have been speculating about this character all the time. So, you know, it's nice to know that these companies listen. It's a little bit harder because Marvel does not own the rights to the property of Submariner. But as you've seen with Sony, as you've seen with the Incredible Hulk, when you have enough money, you could probably buy these things. So 
uh, or at least rent them. So I think that's eventually what's going to happen. I mean, especially, I believe it's Universal. Um, they're not really sure. It's really complicated when it comes to the Submariner, who technically owns it all. There's also a little unknown company that owns a part of it. So it's very complicated and confusing. But they're not doing anything with the character, so how much money are they making off of it? So it might be beneficial to them to allow Marvel to add them and make some kind of money off of something they're not doing anything with. But this is definitely a great book to get. I paid three seventy two, which even for a low-grade book, which is what this is... That is definitely going to be a steal, provided especially if Submariner ends up in a movie, because he's not going to be a one-and-done character. I, I really think they're going to give him the uh, story arc like they did in the comics, because in the comics, Marvel really didn't know what to do with him. You know, sometimes he was the hero, most of the time he was the villain, sometimes he was kind of back and forth. So I think they're going to start him out with it as a villain, but then he'll get that story arc and end up you know, becoming the hero. That's what I think they're going to do. If Hollywood's anything, they're predictable most of the time. But that just means this is not a one-and-done character. So if they do him right and they do him well, this book could become something very important. So as you can see, there is some damage here. There's pieces missing here. There's tape, as you can see, here and here. Um, the book is kind of brittle. So one of the things I did was when I'm sending this in, and I recommend this for anybody, no matter what company you send these to, because remember, nobody's going to care about your books as much as you do. So I wrote on the back of this, comic very brittle at parts. Please handle with care. So don't assume that somebody that's grading your book, no matter what company it is, is going to take extra special care. Because remember, the bigger the company, the more customers they have, the faster they have to do these things. So they're not going to treat your book like you would. They're not going to be gentle, or they may not be as gentle. And they're definitely not going to know unless you tell them. So please, do not assume. And that's why I've seen so many people get a book back, and they're like, oh, this bend wasn't there, or that crack wasn't there, or this tear wasn't there. It could have happened in the mailing part, so make sure you mail them properly. Um, and I have videos about that. Check it. Um, it could be that they've been at the place facility for months at a time and they piled boxes or threw the boxes around or maybe the box fell wherever they placed it. The longer you have to wait for your book, the more time something can happen. And last but not least, it could be, you know, taken out of the bag and not handled carefully. So right on the back, if there's something they need to know about, like if there's a staple ready to pop, make sure you indicate that because you don't want them to find out by opening the book when they're ready to inspect it and they pull out the staple because guess who's penalized them or you it's going to be you so i wrote that on the back i highly recommend you do that so that book i paid 372 i'm going to predict only about a 1.0 to a 1.8 so i'm not going to give this book a high grade but i don't care this book was uh, the fantastic four white whale for me and I am so glad to have it, and I don't care what grade, because you know what? Whether it's a 9.8 or a 0 0.5, I own this book. I can say I own a Fantastic Four number four. So for me, if that's all I can afford, especially at this time because we're moving, and it's only about less than three, two weeks, less than two weeks away now, um, I'm just very glad to have this in my possession. So these will be the first four books when I get them back. That will be a, a video, a live video that I do in my new home. I mean, knock on wood, provided we make it there safely and everything. But uh, I'm very excited about that. And another thing I do is, or what I'm going to do, is I'm going to write my address on the back of each comic. So this way, if somehow the paperwork got lost or misplaced or whatever, um, on the back of the books... Obviously, I'm not writing on the comic book, but on the back of the board, I'm going to put the address and everything, my email address and everything. So better to be with too much information than not enough. So again, no matter what company you send your books to, get them pressed, get them dry cleaned. Trust me, it's worth the money because what costs you maybe 20 30 maybe $40 could increase the value of your book hundreds of dollars. So it is absolutely crazy if you don't get them pressed unless it's a book that you think is already a 9.8 i mean because most of the time they're not going to give you a 9.9 .9, so you're kind of wasting money there but lower grade books if you see a wrinkle if you see a crease that doesn't break color if you see some water ripples and things like that or just regular folds or just you know from reading it over and over again pressings and dry cleanings will help now they don't get out everything and this book i don't know if it will be pressed because of the fact that it is brittle. So I wrote that on the back, and I'll let them make the judgment call.
but even with that, it's not going to bring it up that much because of all the other damage. So 1.0 to a 1.8 with creamed off-white pages. So those are the four books. Fantastic Four number four, Amazing Spider-Man number 14, Tales of Suspense 52, and Fantastic Four number six. I cannot wait to get these back. I'm going to be so excited in my new home to be able to have this as one of the... Um, well, at least the first video as far as unboxing my graded books, so stay tuned for that. My other comics should be coming back sometime either this week or hopefully by the second week, because otherwise I won't be here anymore. Um, I'm going to have to call them again and see if it's mail, but of course with the holidays, that's delaying everything. And if you like these kind of things, thumbs up, always show me that you do. Wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Don't forget to sign up for the cashback program, where if you spend $25 or more within the first 30, uh, three months, you get $10 additional cash back. And uh, don't forget, it's not you, it's not I. It is We Love Comics. Always a pleasure. I thank you all. If you're one of my power viewers, make sure that you show in the comments section what this book is. That is The Birds of Prey. That shows me who watches a video for two seconds and who watches a video till the end. If you're an ultra power viewer, that means you watch every video from beginning to end. Now, obviously, I don't check and I can't check, so I'm basing it on your honesty. So if you want to say that you do it and you don't, hey, you don't win anything, you don't lose anything. So stay until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the share button. Just don't pick your belly button because that's just weird. And it's not you. It is not I. It's We Love Comics. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to sign up for the cash back program and get $10 back if you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, just click on this link right here. If you're interested in any of my Marvel mystery boxes, you can click this link and just go all the way to the bottom and you can order right there. If you'd like to join my Patreon account, it's right here. Facebook is right here. And mycomicshop.com if you'd like to order some comics from their store. Now, on to the surprise subscriber shout out.